Well, joining me now is Palestinian activist Mustafa Badguti. He also ran for the presidency of the Palestinian National Authority in 2005. Mr. Badguti, it's good to have you with us. The UN has been reiterating re their position that those detained should be charged and face trial or released without delay. If Article 186 goes unchallenged, how much will that hurt Samed Isawi's chances of being released? Well, uh, Samir Isawi and three other uh, Palestinian prisoners like Ayman Sharawni are now facing the possibility of death because uh, they are on hunger strike, striking against their uh, illegal arrest. And of course, uh, without changing this law, Israel could continue uh, to arrest them and they could die at any moment. The other problem here is that Israel is using not only this law, but they use uh, the British mandatory law, which was uh, cancelled in Britain and cancelled everywhere else. They still use it to, which, uh, to, to arrest people in what they call administrative detention, which is an arbitrary form of arrest that allows Israel to arrest people for unlimited amount of time without charges, just because they have what they call secret evidence that they would not show to the accused or their lawyers. So in my opinion, what you see today is a very important sign of a system of apartheid and racist discrimination by Israel against the Palestinian people. Well, Samir Asawi, who's been on hunger strike for just over 200 days now, That's and right. the others who have also been on hunger strike with him, the UN Special Rapporteur has said that uh, they could essentially die at any minute and uh, that Israel will be held responsible for any permanent harm. But what role do you think the international community has in this situation to make sure that these prisoners are freed or charged? Well, in my opinion, if the violations that Israel is committing, uh, violations that Israel is committing in the occupied Palestinian territories have been committed in any other part of the world, the whole world will be up in arms against this terrible violation of human rights. Unfortunately, Israel is allowed to be impunitive to international law. It's allowed to be above international law. And in my opinion, the international community has failed to hold Israel responsible like they do with other countries. Uh, in this particular case, an urgent action is needed. And the only way to change the, the Israeli approach and the Israeli attitude is by uh, threatening with punishment acts, including boycott, divestment, and sanctions. This is the only way not only to save the lives of Samir Isawi and his colleagues, but also it's the only way to end this system of apartheid that has become much worse than the system of apartheid in South Africa at one point of time. All right, that's a Palestinian activist, Mustafa Badguti. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.